Welcome back to some content that you probably didn't subscribe to, but hey, that's okay. This is uh, Josh's channel and not Coding with Josh or Tech with Josh. Anyways, I've had a long week and I want to talk about something that's kind of funny or maybe at least gives me a laugh now to think about it and hopefully it gives you a laugh to think about it. We're going to talk about some crazy dates that I've been on today. Ever since the girlfriend cheated and we went our separate ways, I've gone on a lot of dates. Some of those dates have been relatively normal, but a majority of them have just been what? Are you serious? Is this really happening? And what I've come to figure out living in Utah these past five years, six years, is that Utah is a special blend of cultures. I don't know if you guys have ever seen that hot crazy matrix where the guy describes the hot crazy level of uh... You have your crazy axis and your hot axis. Hot is as usual measured from zero to ten. We're all familiar with that. Uh, it's kind of, it's funny, all right? Have a sense of humor. Imagine laughing. We kind of need a similar graph to describe dating in Utah. So in Utah, we would need a three-dimensional graph. We would need the X, Y, and Z graph to describe how the types of people here are. Let's say we have our Z axis over here. These people would be our conservative people, the people that Utah is known for. When you think of Utah, you probably think of conservative people. I've gone on a few dates with people from the Z axis, and now those dates are awesome. They will take you kayaking, the best pizza you've ever tasted, uh, laser tag, paintball, airsoft. They'll do all the things on the first date. They have some great ideas, but the second date rolls around and they're like, hey, see this? See this finger right here? It doesn't have a ring on it. And you're like, whoa, wait a minute now. That was a great first date, but we need about unlimited more of those because we're not getting married. But then you have people over here on the, let's say the X axis and these people they just want to party hard. I'm pretty sure the people on the x-axis way over here, th their goal is to not be able to remember their 20s. That's how hard that they party. And then you have the people on the z-axis. And we'll use the z-axis in terms of going up because they are literally in outer space. Reason number one is because the majority of them just 420 all day long and they are existing in another dimension and they just want to become one with the trees and I bet you they have toked on some stuff to make them think that they're a tree. Now, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with any of these three uh, dimensions. I'm just saying there's not one for people like me. To find people like me, you'd need the fourth dimension. There's a video by Carl Sagan where he tries to illustrate what the fourth dimension would look like using shadows and a cube. It's basically invisible to us. We can't see it. I can't show you what direction that is. And that's how it feels being what I would call a normal person in Utah. Now, what does normal mean, right? Well, for me, it means that people that are like me, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit of a centrist. I'm not one of those to their extremes. I like a little bit from each, maybe we could say. And finding people like that here in Utah has been very difficult because we're invisible and we can't see each other. <laughs> but seriously, it's been a wild ride. And one of the first dates I would like to talk about would be the date that I had with a girl that had a sugar daddy I knew nothing about. So I met this girl on Tinder. Things were pretty good. Things were going as normal Tinder conversations go. And we got off of Tinder purgatory. That's what I would call it, where you just talk for a few days or maybe a day and then you, you're like, oh my gosh, we should hang out and then you never talk again. So the first thing you do is you get off Tinder purgatory and that's what we did. We got off Tinder purgatory, got the phone number, scheduled a date. We went to go get some pho, some Vietnamese noodles. And we were sitting there, we met up for the first time, hug each other, right? Uh, nice to meet you, blah, blah, blah. We sit down and we order some pho and we're sitting there and we're eating our food and things are going relatively normal, you know? You gotta do those first date steps that you're just like, oh, do you have family here? Oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, that's cool. What's your favorite music? What kind of TV shows do you like to Netflix and chill with? You gotta go through that and that's what we were going through and then all of a sudden in this quiet little conservative um, restaurant, everyone's just minding their own business having conversation. This dude busts through the door. If it's like an action movie in slow motion, he just like kicked it open and the, like the double doors like swung open this dude comes in he starts yelling i didn't know that you were looking for another arrangement what are you doing how much is this guy paying you i'll double it if you wanted another arrangement we agreed that you would tell me and i would just give you more money so you wouldn't have to get another sugar daddy and i'm just sitting there and like her eyes got her eyes got real big and i was like Kind of, well, you know, you know this guy. Is wait, wait what's going? Is, is he talking to me? Is he talking? Does he think I'm a sugar dad? Does he think I'm paying you to be here right now? And she's like, look, I'm sorry. I know 
I didn't tell you anything about my sugar daddies because it's always, it always makes the dates weird. And you think that you're gonna get money from me? You think that that's what, no, she's like, no, 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 no. We had an agreement. He just pays for my, my house and he just pays for my car payments and my phone. And you know, we don't actually go on dates or anything. He just, it's a weird relationship. And I was like, how did he know that you were here at this restaurant? Apparently this guy had been stalking her and he was very insecure about this girl. This guy installed some software on her phone that let him know where she was at at all times and i guess that they had an agreement that they were not a thing even though this guy really wanted to be a thing this dude just paid her bills i guess he would look at her gps location on his phone to see where she was going at night and it looks like you know she was going to all these restaurants and one of those happened to be with me and he came how much are you paying her blah 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 and, and like the, you gotta remember we were in this little conservative just small little restaurant people just eating their noodles I'm pretty sure I heard someone choke on some noodles when they heard, how much is he paying you? I heard like someone in the back corner go, because <laughs> they, they were like, wait, what? Everyone is looking at me like, like I am paying for this girl's time to be on this date with me or just paying this girl in general. And the first thing you think of when you hear a guy paying for a girl is probably not to go eat pho. That's probably, it's, it's, it would probably be the last two letters on pho that you'd think that would be what you're paying for. They have a little bit of an argument and they're like, hey, can you just leave? We'll talk about this later. And the guy just literally is like, okay, baby, uh, I'm so sorry about this. And he just left. Totally flipped 180. The guy was absolutely nuts though. The dude was crazy. I, I was getting up from the table and I was like, things hurt. This is a little weird. I'm sorry. Uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave. Eh, actually, I'll sit back down for a second. So I had a little bit of a conversation with her and I was like, actually, how does this work? Like, where did you even meet this dude? And she was like, well, we met on seekingarrangement.com. And if you don't know what that is, th this video is sponsored by C, I'm just kidding. <laughs> it's where you go to meet sugar daddies and sugar mamas, I guess. And there's really no agreements. The, the people there, they just give you money and, and the reasons why they give you that money is kind of up to you. You don't have to put a label on it. Probably most of the people that do that are expecting something physical in return. And so when I asked what she did for work, she was always a little bit skittish about that and just like, oh, you know, I have a few different sources of income. And I was like, what, from what? Like, what do you do? Like, how do you make money? And so now I know that those few different income sources were a few different dudes. Yeah, that was it. And uh, we, we left and uh, we did what Tinder was for. And that, and that was it, we went on our ways. Let's talk about this other date where I got catfished. All right, this date was, uh, oh man, this date was weird, dude. This, this date was really weird. We met on Bumble. If you don't know what Bumble is, it's like a slightly better version than Tinder, even though, I don't know, all the apps suck, to be honest. I, I usually wanna talk on the phone before we go on a date, just to make sure, number one, we can hold a conversation on the phone, because we can't hold a conversation on the phone and just like, I don't wanna sit in front of you and do this either so we set a date and we went to buffalo wild wings and in that little seating area where you're waiting to be seated waiting for the hostess to come and get you and give you your spot at the restaurant i walk in and i'm looking for this picture of this of this cute girl and i'm looking around and then in the back corner this back dark kind of corner i hear this this man's voice going hey are you josh and i look over i was like yeah man what's up What's going on? This had happened before on a few dates. People have recognized me on dates because of my YouTube channel. It doesn't happen that often, but it, it, it has happened. And I'm not saying that to have like a big head or anything, because it's always really humbling and kind of strange when it happens because they know you, but you don't know them. And I just thought this might be one of those cases. He's like, hey, are you Josh? And then I look over, bigger guy, I'm balding, big black beard, kind of sitting all hunched over, you know. And I was like, yeah, man, what's up? He's like, I'm Rachel. <laughs> and he had like phlegm in his throat. And my first glimpse was to be like, WTF, man, what are you doing? But I, instead I just looked over and I just, I just, why? Why do you, why do, you do this, man? He's like, oh, well. It's just fun for me and I have like, you know, I just like wasting people's time and stuff since I don't have, yeah. Well, this isn't fun for anyone and I don't know why you're doing this, but you, you shouldn't do this because you just end up pissing people off. You have trouble meeting girls or something. He's like, no, I don't have any trouble meeting girls. I just don't meet any girls. I was like, was that because you like, maybe you like dudes or something? You know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. If you like dudes, hey, great, fantastic. Like, well, I don't think so. I was like, what, what, you, what you mean you don't think so? We're on a, wait, wait, hold on. You back up a minute. He's like, you want to get some food? Like, you still want to go on the date? And I was like, no, dude, I don't want to go on the date. This is weird. 
this is a weird conversation, man. I was just asking you why you do this, because this is really bad and you should do this. And you asked me to continue to go on this date. No, you are not a Rachel, okay? You look like a Greg. He's like, oh, actually, my name is uh, Gregory. Uh, I do know. And I was like, are you for real right now, dude? I just said that out, like, out of nowhere. He's like, oh, well. I'm still down to get some wings if you want to get some wings. I was like, no, dude, I'm leaving. Bye. And that was the end of that date. And that is the story of how I got catfished. And so from now on, I always get pictures. And I usually like to talk on the phone, even though this is 2020. And everyone thinks that's, that's, that's really weird to talk on the phone. And look, just don't be a Greg, all right? That's all I'm looking for. Like, just I need to make sure that you're not a Greg. I have had plenty of other crazy dates. Girls that have followed me home, girls that have gone through my closet. Just really strange occurrences. <sighs> I don't know. This is a different video. I'm, I'm putting it out there. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys got a laugh out of it. If you're wondering what the sugar daddy girl looked like, yeah, she was hot. She was hot. I'm not gonna lie. She, she was pretty hot. I, I hope you guys have a great Friday. I hope you guys got a laugh out of it. I don't. Have a good one. Click subscribe. Leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the next one.